Welcome to Layer the Alchemist, where we discuss all things heavy metal and hard rock. On today's episode, 10 of my favorite deep cuts from the David Lee Roth era of Van Halen. When I was first getting into hard rock and heavy metal, Van Halen were one of my early bands and one of my favorite bands. And there's no denying the chemistry that existed when David Lee Roth was in the band. You had Eddie Van Halen, who sadly just recently passed away, one of the greatest guitar players of all time. His fantastic, innovative, groundbreaking guitar playing all over these albums. You had David Lee Roth, the larger than life personality. You had Alex Van Halen with his unique style of drumming. And you had Michael Anthony with his rock solid bass playing and his immediately identifiable background vocals. So I thought it would be fun if I went through these albums and picked out 10 of my favorite deep cuts. So a deep cut is a song that usually doesn't get played a lot or ever on the radio. It's rarely, if ever, played live by the band. It's usually a song that the hardcore or dedicated fans may like or know about, but the casual fan may not know about. It can sometimes be buried um, deeper in on an album. So, okay, here we go. So, I'm gonna go in order here, starting from the first Van Halen album. This was actually a hard album to pick a deep cut off of because so many of the songs on this album got played on the radio or the band were in their set lists forever. But the song that I picked was Little Dreamer. This is actually one of the least played songs for them from uh, this album live, when Van Halen played live. I always liked this song because you've got all these rippers all over this album, songs like Atomic Punk and I'm the One. And Little Dreamer has this cool kind of mellow laid back quality to it i love eddie's opening riff i love the way dave sings in the verse he's sort of singing in this sort of more laid back subdued voice yeah, talk about the cold when you were headed for the sky and i love when the chorus kicks in in the background vocals Ooh, you are the little dreamer and eddie does all those great guitar fills with the harmonics and his whammy bar and everything. Just just awesome, man. Shows a, what a great, diverse band Van Halen was, man. They could rip your head off or they could lay back like this. The great background vocals, which is such a trademark for me of the Van Halen sound. All right, next, from Van Halen 2, I picked Dead or Alive, D-O-A. I love the main riff in this. It's got this really sort of nasty We were broken down and I'm wrong as red. The way Eddie plays that that main riff. I'm on the road, I'm on the highway. Woo, dead or alive. Just great, man. And I love Dave's Dave Dave's lyrics. We were broken down and hungry, dressed in rags. <laughs> the day your mama told me I was on the pack your bags. You know, just Dave. He just he's a guy that man. He just knows how to how to sell a song. And this is a really cool one that they barely ever played played live off this record. I just love that main riff in this so DOA from Van Halen Two. All right, from Women and Children First. I actually picked two songs from this one. Fools is my first pick. This one starts off with this great like uh, free guitar thing from Eddie. You know, he's and, and Dave's like this bluesy thing and Dave's like he's sort of vocalizing behind him. Ooh making these things and then it breaks into this thing where Eddie plays like this unaccompanied thing by himself that is just like burning up the neck it's like eruption you know he's just playing really fast and all over the guitar neck and then it goes into this is another one with like a nasty riff and it you know it sounds like eddie's just really like digging in to his bottom string and i love the chorus in this one or in the lyrics in general man you know i ain't about to go to school and i don't have the teacher's rules <laughs> oh dave man just great 
great and I love the chorus. Ooh, it makes me blue. Ooh, playing with fools. Just, just awesome, man. They, Van Halen with their background vocals, whenever those background vocals kicked in, they just always lifted up their choruses so well. The other song that I picked from Women and Children First is Lost Control, which is another great one with like this, it's super fast, man. It's like a short song, but it's got this really da 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 this really syncopated sort of staccato riff from Eddie. It's like the main riff. And then the whole band kicks in and like Alex is just like going crazy and driving it along. And then everything sort of stops and it's just that riff again. And there's that like somebody talking over a CB radio thing, you know, <laughs> which is which is just great man and i love the 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 chorus and you know lost control lost control lost control <laughs> it's just such a weird chorus and it's such a short song it just sort of blasts out of the gate and just goes by goes by so quickly all right from one of my favorite van halen albums fair warning i picked two songs from this one also sunday afternoon in the park it's such a weird it's eddie playing some kind of synthesizer and I'm guessing it's going through some kind of effect because it's just got got that like and I love like the way the drums are underneath it the drums are really kind of loud and when it kicks into sort of I guess you'd call it the main riff of the song. And then the way, you know, the drums underneath it grooving along. And then the way the song ends where he's just playing like that one note. Boo, boo, boo. And it just keeps getting lower. Boo, 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 boo. It just keeps getting lower and lower and lower until it fades into my next deep cut. The last song on this album, One Foot Out the Door. It's got this, it's, it's such a weird song. It's just, it's a strange song. The main riff in the song is, I, is, is the keyboard again, sort of carried over from Sunday afternoon in the park, but it's just weird, like all over the place. Weird, like keyboard line in it. And Dave's voice is like, it sounds like there's an effect, a strange effect on his voice. And it's got this really crazy Eddie solo in it, man, where he's just going crazy, like all, all over the neck. One of the crazier, like, guitar solos from Eddie. And it's another really short one. It's only like two minutes and change, I think. And it just hits you and it's gone. And it's just such a strange <laughs> way to end the album that that I love it. It's it's like Van Halen at this point. It's like they could just do no wrong. And you just have this feeling that, you know, Eddie just starts goofing around on a synthesizer. Alex jumps in. There's Sunday afternoon in the park. Then he starts playing another riff before you know it. One foot out the door is there. And they're just able to just pull this stuff out of, you know, with no effort at all. They can just, they just do this through so much chemistry in the band. All right, maybe not my favorite Roth era Van Halen album, but Van Halen Diver Down. This album was fortunately had a lot of covers on it, which, you know, some were cool. Van Halen does a good, good job on covers. But the song that I uh, picked for here is Hang Him High. This has a really awesome, like, uh, guitar riff from Eddie. This, like, sort of... Uh, open string thing that he's playing and it's got you know an awesome chorus it's another driving number and like i mentioned there's just there's uh for me too many covers on this album and hang them high is just a really cool one and uh, one that they didn't play live a lot at all and it kind of makes me think like man if they just had more songs like this replace some of those cover songs it would have been a would have been a stronger album for me uh so next, also from the Diver Down album, I picked Intruder. Intruder is the song that that uh, proceeds or comes before uh, Pretty Woman. So it's got like this steady drum beat from Alex there, and Eddie's just doing all this crazy like guitar feedback sounds. It's so like wooden innovative guitar player Eddie was he, he he did all this stuff with the tapping and the sweeping and the whammy bar stuff but this song man his control of the feedback and if you don't know feedback is just the guitar is so loud that it's it's creating a feedback loop and it's just sort of it sounds like it's going to explode at times and there's a part in it where he does this really high like 
<laughs> it sounds like the guitar is ready to fly away and explode or something so just super cool and then you sort of can't hear that song without it going into pretty woman and, and this does get played on the radio a lot of times before pretty woman so is it a deep cut i don't know it's something that they never played live so that's why i put it down here as a deep cut all right uh next from uh 1984 i put down drop dead legs shockingly they didn't play this one a lot live either maybe because there were so many uh great so many popular songs off this album but i love the main riff in this it's like it shows off another facet of eddie's playing like he had he can play really laid back and that's what this main riff sounds like to me it's like it's like he's just like so laid back and in the pocket or he can be like really driving and right on top of it like in hang him high or you know, some of the more aggressive Van Halen's uh, songs, Atomic Punk or I'm the One or whatever, you know, he can be like really driving or on top or he can swing really well, you know, and this is a great example of this, you know, drop dead legs. It just it sits back in the pocket really well. And, and in general with Eddie Van Halen, you know, his, his, his rhythm playing doesn't get enough uh, attention in in my opinion that is, that is just as uh, genius and masterful as his lead playing and the way he's the pocket that he has the syncopated rhythms that he plays like I mentioned in loss of control and fools and stuff these syncopated rhythms and the way he can just sort of play with the beat is just great all right and then I figured for fun why not let's pick something from the last album that David Lee Roth did with the band a different kind of truth here I got a awesome album cover and I picked the song stay frosty <laughs> because it's a fun one and I guess it's sort of a uh, ice cream man part two if you will and to me it just uh it just shows off that that uh david lee roth uh charisma and character he sort of starts off he's just sort of speaking like he does in the song in ice cream man but then it moves it's sort of like a blues with eddie playing acoustic guitar and stay frosty <laughs> and then the whole thing kicks in but it's just got david lee roth the charisma and charm all over it you know dave may not be one of the most technically brilliant singers in the world but he's just such such a character and and for me uh, the definition you know of of a great front man when he walks into a room or on a stage all eyes are on him especially you know again with that chemistry with van halen man it's just to me it's 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 undeniable so so all right there you go 10 of my favorite van halen era deep cuts like i said it was kind of hard to pick deep cuts from them because they played a lot they had a lot of song hit songs and they played a lot of songs from their albums live so i i just sort of went through and tried to find the songs that i liked that you know that they didn't play live that often or that didn't get played on the radio much or if ever so so all right let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite uh, David Lee Roth, Era Van Halen Deep Cuts. And make sure you hit like and subscribe. And until we see you again, make sure you stay heavy, stay metal.